Hello again. Today we're going to look at wood chipping. Uh, what I've decided to do, because again I've said this before, on the PlayStation uh, or consoles, uh, without modding it's quite hard to do some of the things you can do when you've got a mod installed. You can't leave uh, a tractor running and get out of it as soon as you get out it turns off. So I found when you're wood chipping on your own it's very hard to do. So what I've done is I've got my uh, one of my children's PlayStation set up. I've done a multiplayer so I've got one of their characters sat in the tractor so I can leave the wood chipper running. So uh, that can carry on going while I feed logs into it. Now this is the setup I use. I've tried all different ones and it can be a real pain especially when you're wood chipping on your own. It's the sort of thing you can do better on multiplayer. Anyway, we've got Liebherr Telehandler. That's going to be used for picking up the logs and hold them in place. Obviously we've got the Gens wood chipper. Needs to have a longer um, sex on the front. Uh, 59,000 litre trailer, cramp trailer and then we've got the man lorry JCB fast track definitely needs to have a bigger conveyor belt to feed the logs into, it's very difficult to do and then right at the very end we've got I believe our JCB skid steer I use that for chopping out the logs as well when, uh, the uh, tree stumps when I'm done um, but that will be used to feed the logs in uh, that way we can do longer ones we can do an entire tree if we want to so I've got one set up already and all you do is basically just hold it into the telehandler open the telehandler grip then using the skid steer just gradually push it in to the feeder you can do an entire tree this way you haven't got to worry about splitting into smaller logs doing it in small sections uh, it's got its pros and cons it can be a bit fiddly sometimes in setting up the log in the first place but when you're doing a big log in one go, a huge, like an entire tree, um, you can get far, far more into the trailer. So once the actual wood chipper gets hold of it, the final bit, it will drag it on its own. Sometimes you've got to be careful how close you are uh, to the wood chipper because it can drop out the end and you've got to fiddle around loading it back in again. Anyway, I need to get another tree to load in. Uh, I think what I'm going to do with this one, I've got to pull it into place first. It's quite a long one. Um, and... I did make a bit of a hash of this so what I will do is uh, speed up the time on this one so you haven't got to sit and watch how embarrassing it was trying to manoeuvre the tree into place this is another one of the downsides if you're going to do an entire tree um, they are very large to manhandle around um, so it can be a bit of a pain sometimes but it will speed up in a second so you don't have to sit through that Just clamp the JCB skid steer onto the end using the log fork uh, and then drag it forward so I've got enough room to manoeuvre it around where the trees are. At last I got into position. Uh, get the skid steer on the end again. And then just push it in. Push it into the wood chipper. This is a long one so it's quite a while to go through. But you can force it at a fair speed. And you can really get those wood chips into the trailer very, very quickly. For a 59,000 litre trailer, you can fill it up really fast. Um, I found I've used the Scorpion, I've cut them into 8 metre lengths, I've tried feeding them in individually, I've tried putting things in front of the gens to use as a, a balance in front of the conveyor belt and there's all different ways of doing it. Um, whatever works for you works for you, this is just the way I've found uh, to speed up the process a little bit and make it a little bit easier. Anyway there you go, feeding it in, goes in quite quickly. Um, that's how I do it, have a go at wood chipping try different ways worth quite a bit of money thanks for watching